So today I'd like to talk about a project that I finished several months ago, actually, and I just never got around to making a video about for whatever reason. Now, if you are familiar with the vintage Jedi Luke figure from Kenner back in the 80s, uh, you'll know that he had a little stubby lightsaber like this, you can see here. Now, this actually came in several different versions, uh, variations, but this is the one I'm most familiar with. In addition to the green version, they also made a blue version, which I think came beforehand. Kenner had a real problem with getting the color of lightsabers wrong, but in any case, there were two versions, plus various sculpting variations and so forth. Now, I've designed my previous weapons in Tinkercad, but I've kind of been running up against the limitations of that in many ways, so I decided I would try Fusion 360, and this is my first project using that software. Now, I was completely just stumbling, fumbling around in the dark trying to use the software, so I don't really have anything showing me designing this, but this is the final result. Uh, and I think it came out uh, pretty well, all things considered. After I got the design, I just had to chop it up into printer-friendly chunks. Now this is before I got any of the CR-10s that I'm now using, so uh, I had to print this so that it would fit on the bed of my Dremel 3D Idea Builder, which is uh, much smaller. Here we have the blade being printed in several sections. Now I could have made the blade out of a PVC pipe or something like that and then attached some 3D printed parts to it, but then you have to ensure that the parts fit properly and I just felt it would be easier if we could print the entire thing. And here we have all of the parts together. You can see that there's two parts for the handle there. And then there's a, an emitter part, or a guard part, I don't know if, what you want to call that. These are all attached with these little 3D printed pins that I have designed, which help you align the parts for gluing and also kind of strengthen them a little bit. So you can see it just fits on there. Each section of the blade also has a hole there for a pin. So here we have it all assembled, and it's actually pretty sturdy. I just used some super glue after roughing up the parts that are going to be glued together, and it's plenty strong. I decided to leave this one as it is in green, and then to uh, print another one in white and finish and paint that one to match the blue lightsaber. So we'll take a look at that process now, starting with the sanding and... Ooh. Actually, let's just skip right to the end, shall we? It's pretty much the same exact process that I've used for my other videos. Plus, I neglected to take video of some of the key stages, so this is what we've got. Uh, I think it came out really well. You can see there's barely any indication of joins as opposed to the green one here, where it's quite obvious where there are different pieces coming together. I think this same design was actually used for the Bespin Luke from uh, The Empire Strikes Back, so you could print this in yellow to match that as well. So anyway, that's uh, this short video about my first foray into... Fusion 360 modeling. Unfortunately, I haven't really done much with it since then, so I've probably forgotten most of what I learned in this video, but uh, still, it was, uh, it was a learning experience. The files for this are on Thingiverse, so you can download them for free if you want to make one of these for yourself. Uh, they're actually not too hard to put together, and uh, they should be printable on most 3D printers that are not just tiny. That's about all for today. Thanks very much for watching. And may the Force be with you.